how many times it's going to play. <gasps> hello, hello. Good afternoon. Happy Friday. We're kind of off centered here. We're going to have to talk loud for the microphone. Really? Hmm. Awesome. Use your teacher voice, Don. I don't have a teacher voice. I was never. Use in. your tailgating voice, Don. Thank you for tuning in to Don and Realty <laughs> Associates podcast, Real Estate Update. Did, Did you, you know? know? Wow, that was awful. Yeah, that was the worst <laughs> we've ever done that, I think. Did you know? Anyway. I'm Dawn, and I'm joined today by Erin and Amber. Trace left. Trace left. She has to pack for Ada. Yep, she gets to do fun things today, right? Packing's not that fun. Are you sure? You know, going to Ada is probably not that fun. No. Either, but, you know, whatever. But she'll listen and love us and, and laugh at us. Yeah, maybe a little. What are we <laughs> talking about? Well, we're going to continue our little series about talking about the developments in the Fargo Marta area. Last time we talked about West Fargo and why represent why it's a good place to live. So today we're gonna to talk about North Fargo, like the north side, because I'm going there in like ten minutes. <laughs> Horns up. Horns up. Go bison. Go bison. Anyway. And we have there's certain people that they want to stay on the north side. Absolutely. So we need to talk about that and everything that needs to Happen to get you to North Fargo. <laughs> There's that a dog. That was my here. dog. <laughs> that was insane. none of us. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. We need to hit that script. Did you pull up that one? Mm, this one, right? Yeah. Or the HBA one, too. Uh, you did not tell me about the HBA one. It's on there. It's on this uh, lineup. The HBA right there. Click on that. Home you should be able to. Association. It means quality. So. What developments in North Fargo are they building in right now? <gasps> I just stepped on my dog. I'm sorry. What developments in North Fargo are they building in right now? I said Edgewood. Edgewood. Oh, is that Ed what's up? No. Is that Edgewood? Yeah, that is correct. Okay. And they're also building. Dabber has those. Um, that lot. I don't know what development that's called. Is that horrible? <clears throat> Probably. It's, but it's in a really convenient location. Absolutely. Um, people are just calling it the Pony Farm. Because they're actually the land that the development is on <laughs> used to be a pony farm back in the day. Oh, so cool. just so you guys know, um, it's also by U32 Apartments. Mm -hmm. So right up on University and 32nd Avenue North. So kind of a way up there, but kind of a, it's got its own community in North Fargo. So mm -hmm. and half of that backs to like a really pretty tree line. There were deer hanging out there oh, when yeah. we were there for parade. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So all that fun stuff. But one thing that we looked up is why do you want to live in Fargo? So we have um, eight great reasons. Ooh, and how cool, how cool we are. Is that a play on words? How cool Fargo is? I think it is. Um, it's really cool. Um, however, did you guys know that last night was a meteor shower? And when I went out with my dogs at 1.30, I got to see them. It was so cool. Ooh. Oh, that's very So cool. one of the great things about Fargo is that you can actually live in the city and go outside and see the stars where if Very you live true. in a bigger city sometimes you don't all you see is lights so that's why I'm bringing that up because it kind of plays in on that but it's really neat light pollution <laughs> so yeah but we're talking about North Fargo right what mm -hmm. what are people attracted to North Fargo for? I think the mature trees and the, just the neighborhoods because it feels like that community of the 1950s where right. a lot of the houses up there were built too and there's some house that, you know, new owners taking over those houses, so they're updating the, you know, the inside, but you still get that nice classic feel on the outside. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. There's Oak Grove of High School is over there too, right? Yep. So we've got Oak Grove and we got Fargo North. Um, NDSU Campus. NDSU Campus. Fargo Rome. The airport. Red Pepper. The VA Center, which is a fantastic facility up there. So lots of cool things in North Fargo. And you have Hornbachers. Hello. Right. Don't forget about Hornbachers. Was the um vet oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Help me out. Is that Longfellow? Is that the neighborhood that's right by the veterans house? Right. Yep. yep. Longfellow Elementary School. That's a pretty sought after neighborhood in North Fargo. It Absolutely. is. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I think the thing about North Fargo. <laughs> That's my dog again. Um, I think the thing about North Fargo too is it doesn't seem like a ton of houses come up for sale. 
Um, so you're probably in a neighborhood where people are really established and they've been there for many years. So they know, they know all the um, positive things about it. And that's why the houses are so sought after because people sit there and they make it their lifelong house. Absolutely. Like I said, it's just kind of its own little community up there and people don't really want to move. But, you know, if they want something new, they're really staying in their houses and they're remodeling them. And I think that's really nice that there's a couple of new developments up there. So you get that North, that North Fargo feel. Mm -hmm. But if you want a brand new house, you can still be up in that area. Right. Absolutely. And you can even go north of the airport more into like Highland Park, um, which is up on, I think it's County Road 31. Um, but it's really uh, bigger lots if you can get anything there. But some of those houses have been there since the 90s too. So you never know, somebody might be moving out of there and you can have a little bit bigger lot and most of them are right on the river. So, What are some unique things to know about North Fargo? Dawn, weren't you telling me something last night? Yeah. There are some cool things, like the one house that we sold last year on 22nd Avenue North was kind of the cutoff for having sump pumps. It, That's it right. Was, um, the, she, there was a name for it, and I can't seriously remember what it was, but the north side of the street doesn't have to have sump pumps because the elevation on that side of the street is higher than the south side of, that, of 22nd Avenue. And so people were... Like, why do you have a sump pump? Why don't you have, you know, so when the flood came in 97, half the street was flooding and the other <laughs> half wasn't, so. So that's, that's good to know if you're in a certain yeah. neighborhood there, have your real estate agent look to make sure there is a sump pump in the house. Yep, and, the and to know that maybe there isn't one because their elevation is higher too. That was one thing I was gonna ask in Heritage and I should have too, is like Edgewood, North, mm -hmm. north side, are they still flood proofing that? Because it's a new build, I guess they, they probably to. have yep. to. Yeah. Anything in Fargo. But if that, yeah, you know, we were talking about the diversion too, and once that's built, um, it's going to take like 10,000 people out of the flood zone, or 10,000 houses, I should say, out of the flood zone. But without it, they would add another 30,000 mm -hmm. houses. So it's kind of a... And flood insurance is so uncertain nowadays yeah, that it is. It's just safer to get out, of, get out of the flood zone or have your basement flood proofed. It is, they said it's an extra 12,500, right? To mm -hmm. flood proof the basement. Mm -hmm. But if we get another big flood, it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Right. And yeah. it's gonna take eight years for that diversion. Mm -hmm. And with how high flood insurance is going, mm -hmm. it would only take a few years to eat away at that 12,000. Absolutely. Correct. Yeah. Get nasty. Yeah, absolutely. What else do we have in North? I don't know, North, the Forest Park. We have the mm -hmm. Industrial Park. Um, mm -hmm. Goldenwood is kind of out on its own. That's, yep. Yeah, West, North, Fargo, West Fargo. West Fargo, mm -hmm. yes. But still, right? Because mm -hmm. it does have, that actually has some good opportunities to build too if you want to be on the edge of town a little bit as well. Well, and I think people... And these acres. And some of those houses may be a little bit smaller. They may be a little older in style. Don't mm -hmm. have like, you know, the private bath off the master. But they um, have what people... They're willing to kind of sacrifice that house like there was clients I was talking to mm -hmm. that they lived in sort of a smaller house with smaller bedrooms because that was the elementary school they wanted mm -hmm. they wanted right. their kids to go to that elementary school mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so you you see I mean our elementary schools and schools in Fargo in general are amazing but you mm -hmm. do see more people want to move to the north side for those particular elementary schools mm -hmm. well and the other nice thing about the north side too is that some of those houses that were built in the 50s really you didn't need that ensuite but because they did that sliding door or a door that cut off the, ba the bedroom wing and the bathroom wing from the living room so it still secluded it but it feels more private it felt more private because they did a lot of sliding door or the mm -hmm. oh my gosh i'm sorry no what is that word what word sliding doors. doors the doors the doors the doors, doors. doors. no the sliding one that goes in the wall Pocket. Pocket. Ah, I was like, like I'm sorry. The but, more of like the butler no pantry cut off. Yes, um. absolutely. So that's kind of how they did an ensuite. It was both bedrooms were enclosed in that and the bathroom in that. So, yeah, kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. Especially when you look at all of the houses on the block and they all look the same from the outside and they're really not. Those houses on 22nd Avenue, go drive down that street. Yeah. So. What else for North Fargo people? 
Well, I I was surprised. I guess I hadn't done a lot in North Fargo prior to the Parade of Homes and sitting in Daberts this year out in North Fargo at how extremely devoted North Fargoans are to staying in North Fargo. And now a lot of them have been there for so long that they need to look for more of like that right size, whether it's a condo or whether it's a um, slab on grade home, whatever they're going to want. And there's really nothing there for them at all. So that's something that the builders are working on and we've been talking with them too on trying to get that for those people because they are like stone cold not leaving North Fargo, but there are not options there for them currently. Right. Mm -hmm. To yeah, to get to that like you said, that right size where they want to make the smaller house or the house that's more convenient for travel. Maintenance free living. Right. So that'll be good to see how that changes in the next couple of years and to see that new construction over there. Well, and a big employer up north, too, is the Air Guard. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, mm -hmm. my husband has to travel 20 minutes, and he has to be there if rain, snow, sleep. And uh, so it would be nice living in North Fargo. You're, you know, you're five, ten minutes away. You've got those major arterial roads that always get plowed. So if you're hired at the airport or the Air Guard, you know, North Fargo might be a great option to be close to work. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, lots of businesses over there, jobs. Plus, they've got that uh, garden. Have you seen that? That garden. Oh, the right community on, garden. Yeah, there's right. a huge community garden right on oh. University. Um, yep. North of Yonker, Yonker Farms. Bunker. Yep. Yonker Farms. Yeah, sure. I think it's just south of. Is it south of Yonker? Anyway, it's right over there, and yeah. a lot of people use that in the summer. Absolutely. We'll just put both of mess and thing <laughs> up on the screen. There will be two videos on YouTube for this session. Amber will airplane mode her phone next time. <laughs> Oops! Surprisingly, this hasn't been an issue in the past because right. I promise I've never done Do Not Disturb before. Oh, so, interesting. Um, but you know, Fargo in general is really culturally diverse. Um, NDSU is, is uh, you know, a great place to work or go to school if you're thinking of finishing your degree or starting your degree. And I think that's what makes Fargo and even North Fargo really unique. Yeah, and a great athletics program, too. So that's awesome. Hopefully, those bison throttle stomp those jacks tonight. What do you say, Don? I think so. Time to kill some bunnies. <laughs> oh my! They're, All of the bunnies. They're rabbits. Oh, <laughs> they're big ugly jacks. That's true. I almost hit them with my car, but <laughs> I have a Prius, and that I could take out your car. Win. I will probably wouldn't win. I would need a new car. So, um. One thing that when I was reading too, they were talking about how like our crime rate is low here. But have you guys noticed? Um, I think we're in the top five or ten for holiday packages being stolen off of people's front really? door. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear That's about surprising. that. Yeah. It was in the it was in the paper. Today. In the US? Yeah. Or... Yeah. Well shoot. I know, right? It's kind of crazy. It's probably like, you know, your cousin Carl or somebody who's taking Jack it. Everyone you. knows everyone around here. So be like, I'm going to go over and steal Erin's presents because I bet you that her present that she bought me is coming to her yeah. house. I am, I am hooked on Amazon, so. I know. So anyway, a lot of people are doing cameras outside their door, so that's kind of been on the, in the news. Um, but it is a great place to live. Uh, we're, yeah, we're, we're the fifth most active welcoming city. So while they're stealing your package, they're saying, hi, <laughs> hi, have a good day. <laughs> they're smiling and waving at the camera. Yeah. Um, oh. We have a great concert venue in the Fargo Dome. We do end up getting a lot of good names. And and plus the RV and boat show coming up in a couple of months. I mm -hmm. volunteer there for Kiwanis. So and that's always a good time. And the Home and Garden the Show. Home and Garden Show. Boop, boop. And we'll be there too. Yeah. So. Cool stuff. Lots of cool things to do. And another thing that's great about North Fargo is let's say you love like a Victorian style house or, you know, older, more character homes instead of those new builds, that's your bread and butter. You're going to find a lot of that in North Fargo. And especially as you get closer to downtown, you'll see a lot of Victorian and mm -hmm. really pretty architecture that you could update. Absolutely. Plus the trees. You can't. You can't get over the trees overshadowing the street. It just looks absolutely beautiful. What's something that you might want to look into for a home inspection if you've got a bunch of mature trees? Yeah, so if you got an older house and some mature trees, it is good to check the sewer line to see if they've updated to PVC or if they've been maintaining it regularly because that is expensive if that collapses. So absolutely. It's probably an extra $150 to get it cameraed and scoped. 
but definitely a valid investment if you've got that old cast iron piping to the sewer. Mm -hmm. Right. And also even to put that in your maintenance if you do live up north too, because there's roots that can even go through mm -hmm. yeah. your pipes regardless of what they're made out of. So. Yeah, and some roots in your pipe, it's okay. It's just when you get too many, it starts compromising that pipe. And, and there's things they can do if it is starting to get compromised. They can put some PVC through there um, before it collapses, but the trick is to get it before it collapses. Or if it's just tree roots, they can like rotor rooter it out. Mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. There's options, but, yes. but be aware. But definitely, yeah, that's something you can have your have an inspection on, absolutely, yeah. or ask. Because I believe if you, if you call the city, you can ask, too, if they know in if the it, records. If it's cast iron or if it's been converted? Yeah, if it's been converted. Well, the homeowner, if you're looking at a house that is um, that you're wanting to purchase, typically the homeowner knows if it's been converted. Absolutely. And you want it, PVC is good, even if it's PVC lined. Who goes there? I and, don't know. Um, I heard somebody. Me too. Sometimes the sewer scope company I'll know too. I had one done on oh, North right. Broadway and yep. they actually had already been out. So we just got to use their old video. It was only like a year old. So nice. And you want one with, you want someone inspecting it who has the camera. It's a little bit more, but then they can see exactly what the pipe looks like. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And negotiate that as part of your inspection if the house is, I think it's older than what, 1976 or something. It's when you start seeing the cast iron in there a little bit more. Not crazy. You start thinking about it. How? How do you know that that's not going to give up? Well, I, I think too. If you're gonna, yeah, because you never know. Mm -hmm. But if you're gonna sell your house, maybe in the next couple of years, it might be worth it to see how much it costs to convert that to PVC, because that will really help relieve some of those buyers that come through, mm -hmm. save them some money, and you might get more offers. Right? Yeah. Yeah. If they're looking at two or three houses in North Fargo, and yours is the only one that's been converted. Or look at the flip side, now you didn't do it, now they're negotiating on it, and you thought you were gonna get a certain dollar amount, now you've gotta come up with like 13 grand. Mm -hmm. Might be better to be proactive. Right. And you can also talk to the city because they can put that cost of converting into your special assessment. True. Mm -hmm. So you don't, so have, to you don't have to pay it upfront, and you don't have to, you can pay it out over so many years. And that can be passed on to the buyers. Yep. There so. you go. Yep. Win, win, win. So if you think of it as a utility because it's cost of use of something, so mm -hmm. absolutely. That is nice. I think that's another unique thing about Fargo is that they'll let you roll some of that stuff into basically like a lien on the house because like, didn't you have one that was gonna cost $5,000 for a tree to be removed? And they mm -hmm. just let them roll that into the yep. specials? Yep. Absolutely. So nice. you don't have to come up with that five, 10 grand. You can just, you know, pay it off monthly. Mm -hmm. Nice. So. And and added, we love Fargo. And at a decent interest rate too, not yeah. like a credit card interest rate, mm -hmm. like a five or six percent, not twenty. Mm -hmm. So that's Absolutely. cool. Or draining your savings account. Ooh, yeah. yeah don't Nobody do wants to do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. What's a savings account? <laughs> oh, I'm <kidding>. touche. Actually, <laughs> I don't know what I'm talk. talking about. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm not oh, so anyway. In so some... come to Fargo because you can hang out with us and we're cool. <laughs> and if you love North Fargo, we'll help you find something up there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. They're not all, they don't always come for sale, but when they do, they're nice gems. And people in North Fargo really tend to take care of their houses, too. They do. They mm -hmm. do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So A lot of pride. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. so. Awesome. Anyway, to wrap that up next week or whenever we do this again, we're not sure when. Probably, you know. A couple weeks. Every couple weeks. Probably, Probably January. Like January. So Probably we'll see you January. next year. Um, we're going to go into, like, mm, South Fargo. How's that? Well, okay. South Fargo has, yeah, a little more complicated with their flood zones. So. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we uh, we had Tasty Tuesday. Well, you guys yes. had Tasty Tuesday, and we drew a winner. And where were we? Yeah, where were we? Not Village Inn, because that's not local, guys. Diners, diners. Diners. So good. Diners. So good. It was fantastic. And Jan Meyer, you won a gift card. Whoop, whoop. Way to guess, you guys. There was a lot more guesses, so keep them coming. We love it. So we'll be doing another Tasty, well, it'll be a Tasty Wednesday next week, right? Next week. Yes. Yeah, so yes. we'll be someplace new next week. Look for our post, comment on it, and then at our next podcast, we'll be draw drawing another winner. Absolutely. Woo -woo. So all that fun stuff. Awesome. Well, and in closing, we are a very client focused real estate team. We want to help people not sell houses and we want to help 
other people in our community that we're not even working with. So we love to promote small business, keep it local. Right. Um, and we just like helping people, right? Is there Absolutely. anything else about us that you should know? I like to look at houses. Don likes to Don look likes at houses. Look, yeah. And we are very one-on-one, -on -one, so don't feel like you're going to get shuffled off to some showing assistant or transaction coordinator. We're all very hands-on, and we take care of you from start to finish. Absolutely. So look more for more information for us <laughs> on Diamond Realty Associates' Facebook page. You can kind of check out who we are, um, or we have a website, buysellfmhomes.com. Cool. So check us out, and as always, stay, stay classy, classy, FM. FM. Go Bison. Go Bison. Horns up. The music. Oh, I'm not playing the music. Okay, today. bye. Do, do, do.